Today I just wanted to continue to share from the theme yesterday of how the enemy tries to destroy us, but God uses it to strengthen us. And and here's the second witness of that, or at least maybe it's the first witness because it was actually before that, but it's, it's a affirmation of that principle in the story of Joseph's life. And, you know, Joseph went through everything he went through. He had those dreams, and then he had to wait 20-plus years for those dreams to be fulfilled. And and this is right in this passage is when one of the dreams is, is fulfilled, when he had seen all the sheaves bowing down to him. Um, his brothers had come to Egypt for food and and. You know, if you don't know the story, it's an amazing story. It's one of my favorite, but um, I can't go into all that in this short period of time. But the Joseph had had the dream that his brothers came and bowed down to him, and this is the fulfillment of the dream. But it's after his brothers had done him some serious wrong and sold him into slavery and lied to their fa- his father and told him that he had got killed. And, uh, anyway, so, so let's just read this because this is where Joseph reveals himself to his brothers and they hadn't seen him in, um, a long time, at least, um, 20 years. So, so here we go. Genesis 50 verse 19. And Joseph said to his brothers, fear not for am I in the place of God? But as for you, you intended evil against me, but God meant it for good to bring to pass as it is this day to save many people alive. But I love it. You thought evil against me, but what you intended for evil against me, God meant for good. So what the enemy meant for evil, God meant meant for good. God <laughs> God allowed these things to happen and allowed the enemy to seemingly prevail in Joseph's life and send him into slavery and and a lot, <laughs> and to really hopelessness. I mean it's 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 crazy to think about what his brothers did. But they sold him into slavery. And they hated him. And they wanted him to die. Because they were jealous. And what they meant for evil, God actually had a divine and sovereign purpose to send Joseph into Egypt to have give him the have him there to interpret the dreams that he was going to give to Pharaoh and he knew about how there was going to be seven years of famine and seven years of plenty and set Joseph there and sent him ahead to prepare a great storage for the famine for all the world to st- to survive and, and 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 more importantly for Israel to survive and and then come and live in Egypt and then to bring about the great <laughs> everything from that point. You know, Joseph was the first one to go to Egypt and his brothers came and then put that was where Moses would come from and they would be enslaved and God fulfilled all these words. But God has this grand design, you know, and evil was was used to accomplish his purpose. And, you know, it's just to say it, you know, like if this is the way the Lord showed me. If, if evil was not necessary to accomplish God's purpose, there would be no evil. We can trust, we can trust God. You know, like He created everything, right? He created light and darkness. He created Satan, you know, so He created everything for a purpose. So if evil was not necessary to accomplish the purpose of God, there would be 
no evil. So we shouldn't fret when we have to experience evil because we can know that if we have to experience it, it is for a greater good that God has planned. Amen.